Good afternoon. Welcome to St. John's Cathedral. This is the first in a series of meditations on the Stations of the Cross. The, each week on Friday at noon, this will go live on our Facebook and YouTube uh, pages. And so we invite you to take the time, this short meditation, the, the, the service will be no more than 10 or 11 minutes each, each Friday, to center yourself on one of the mysteries of the Stations of the Cross. The stations that we're using are produced by an artist in New York named Simon Carr, and he tried to tell the whole um, arc of the story of the stations, of Jesus walking uh, the stations of the cross, just through a close-up of Jesus' face and what that expression says at each moment of each station. So today, we will begin with this station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. Let us place ourselves in God's presence. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with your help, O Lord God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts whereby you have given us life and immortality. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Jesus is stripped of his garments. When they came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink mingled with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And they divided his garments among them, casting lots. This was to fulfill the scriptures which says, they divided my garments among them, they cast their lots for my clothing. Let us let the same mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Many years ago now, I did these stations with a group of teenagers, and it was um, a more powerful experience than I thought it was going to be. We went through the stations and we asked each other what we thought the expression on Jesus' face said. And we got to this one, Jesus being stripped of his garments, uh, and I asked them and one boy said, he looks, he looks embarrassed. And another one of them said, I never ever thought that Jesus that God could be embarrassed, that God could feel sort of ashamed of something. And then another one of them said, well, you know, sometimes when I'm feeling geeky in front of people, I feel embarrassed and I feel like I've made a fool of myself. And I thought it was very brave of this, of this young person to say that. But I think that is the mystery of the Stations of the Cross, that you know, we, we, this self-identifying with the brokenness of humanity. Who among us, as a teenager, in that awkward, difficult, wonderful, mysterious phase of our life, has never felt sort of embarrassed and out of it and not quite um, cool enough? And here Jesus is stripped of his garments and he looks embarrassed. We talk about walking the way of the cross, and which we do and are, but I think also we need to think of this, this sort of spiritual discipline um, as awakening our curiosity about what Jesus experiences. And, and Jesus, uh, we're not only walking the way of the cross with Jesus, he's walking with us in the way of the brokenness of the human condition. He takes all of it on. Jesus is embarrassed. Jesus feels betrayed. Jesus feels emotionally hurt. Jesus grieves over the hurt that he is experiencing um, and how that will affect his mother, the women of Jerusalem. He feels gratitude for the people who help him lift the cross, Simon. He feels fear, he feels a sense of hopelessness, and then he'll also feel 
the joy of resurrection life. So these Fridays in Lent at lunchtime at noon, take some time out of your busy day at your desk or on the road, or you can, this will be up for a while, to experience walking with Jesus as he walks with us and to immerses himself in our humanity. That is the mystery, the vulnerability of God that lies before us in Lent and as we approach Holy Week. Let us pray. Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Savior, gave his body to be whipped and his face to be spit upon, give us grace to accept joyfully the suffering of the present time, confident of the glory that shall be revealed through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The seventh station, Jesus dies on the cross. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciples whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, behold your mother. And when Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And then crying with a loud voice, he said, father, into your hands, I commend my spirit. And he bowed his head and handed over his spirit. My siblings in Christ, here at the foot of the cross, each week we will lay our petitions. What has God laid upon your heart in prayer this week? We pray for peace. We pray for all the people who have lost loved ones in the Ukraine. We pray for guidance and wisdom for the leaders of the nations. We pray for our Bishop, John, and for our Canon to the Ordinary, Melissa. We remember all the sick of this parish, especially Nancy and Felicia. Here at the cross, where we're reminded that Mary stood, we pray for all those women who have lost a child and who mourn. We pray for the city of Los Angeles in every city. We pray for the homeless of this neighborhood. You may enter your own petitions here on Facebook or on YouTube, and after this is viewed, we will collect them and pray for them next week. O God, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. To Christ our Lord who loves us and washed us in his own blood and made us a kingdom of priests to serve his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen.